Hi, welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions that you have related to electrical and life safety. With easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. Today I want to talk about some of the placement requirements for portable generators in the fire code. So we're going to go ahead and go into the 2024 edition of the fire code and I'm just going to go ahead and search for portable generators. We see right here 10.5 is a section on portable and vehicle mounted generators. So I'm not gonna go through all the requirements. I'm just gonna highlight some of the big ones here. One of the big changes that we had come through in the 2021 edition here is that uh, listing requirement for generators that need to have some carbon monoxide mitigation requirements that are outlined in UL uh, 2201. So that's something you're gonna see with a lot newer uh, generators, the ability to shut themselves off if there's a large buildup of carbon monoxide. But one of the biggest requirements we have here is that portable and vehicle mounted generators need to be operated and refueled outside at a minimum of 20 feet from the building. And the biggest reason here, if we look in the annex, the 20 foot separation is intended to minimize any of the carbon monoxide hazards associated with these portable generators. Again, we know the exhaust is creating that um, deadly carbon monoxide. If we go down to 10.15.7, we see portable generators need to be positioned so the exhaust is directed away from any buildings or any openings in buildings, tents, or membrane structures. Again, we want to make sure the exhaust is getting away from the building. Then a big one here, 10, 15, 10. Um, all the connections to the premises wiring system, so essentially into the electrical system, needs to be done in accordance with uh, NFPA 70, which is the National Electric Code. So I hope that provides some uh, information on using a portable generator. Um, the biggest things are placement, making sure the exhaust is not impinging into the building, and then making sure all that wiring is done per the National Electric Code. So if you want more information on how you can use NFPA Link to look up more requirements like this or to you know do your job, uh, go ahead and go to nfpa.org link.